Hello, so in a recent uh, Reddit forum, uh, I was asked whether we could do a dynamic EQ effect in Ableton using the stock plugins of Ableton. Uh, in that video, I did a video actually of uh, a comparison between EQ8 and Fab Filters EQ called Pro Q3. And the, the key thing that I liked about the Pro-Q3 was the fact that it had dynamic um, EQ and it had sidechain functionalities and all sorts of other fun, nice things. So the answer to that is I think you can do something similar to dynamic EQ um, in Ableton. There's a couple of ways to do it, but I wanted to show you the way I was doing it before I bought the Pro-3 uh, EQ and yeah, basically what I did was, um, let's just demonstrate that by, um, I've got a kick and a bass here. Okay, so on the bass track, what I would do is I would then go into the audio effects and then look for a, a multi-band dynamics compressor. So the thing about multi-band dynamics, it's got um, three different ranges, it's got high, mid and low. So what I would do is I would um, put them into a rack, my audio effect rack by pressing Control G, and you would have the multiband on one rack, and then I would duplicate that twice. Okay, so we've got the so we've got it there three times. The multiband dynamics are there three times, and what I would do is on the bottom one I would solo the low, the middle one I would solo the mid. And on the top one, I would solo the high. Should sound neutral because nothing's been done to it. But then I would get a, a just a, a standard Ableton stock compressor, and I would uh, move that into the bottom one where the low frequencies exist. And then I would side chain the kick from there. So I just side chain the kick. So if we just solo that low frequency, you can hear that's been side-chained. But the mids and the highs have not. So in some respects, you have something dynamic there because you're only side-chaining the, um, the low part of the frequency. I mean, it's not the same type of control you get with the fab filter, but it's still a decent amount of control. And you can go further than that by actually um, sort like you can actually look at these frequencies and changing the frequencies. If I hover hover over the low frequency, um, it says here. Sorry, on the notes on the left hand side, it says it sets the top of the frequency range for the new low band and then the range of the mid band. So basically, this is saying where the low band starts. Okay, so you can actually increase that to start the low band at a higher range. Or you could, I'm just gonna bring that back to 200, or you could just copy the compressor and put it on the mid band. Just put it in there. And you can hear it's a bit more noticeable now. Okay, the thing, the beauty of this is you can control the outputs of all of the bands, okay? You can do something similar with Saturn, uh, but I'm not, uh, this video is about stock, uh, stock um, EQs and stock effects. So basically, that is it, boys and girls. This is how I would do it. And there are actually other ways to do it using Max for Live, uh, but that's for another video. So thanks a lot and um, all the best.